so welcome to Amsterdam and a beautiful day of March in the city center where um, yeah I like to go because it's packed with tourists of course lots of opportunities to take pictures lots of opportunities to get ran over by a bicycle too you need to be careful so uh, yeah I decided to uh, attach the GoPro to the X Pro 3 and um, take you with me so that you can see a little bit how how it's working you know so the day is, uh, is good it's sunny but so with some clouds so the light conditions are changing uh, but this is what I have today X Pro 3 and right now I have the 23 millimeter f2 attached to it I'm in uh, continuous mode I just had to check and um, speed 1 500th of a second because that tends to be quite close to the people and and, and I shoot fast and uh, there's a lot of uh, motion you wouldn't think so but when somebody passes you and you take a picture quite close to them if I'm under 250 I'll, I'll have motion blur um, nice weather, ISO, uh, I set it at uh, 160 fixed and uh, the only variable is the aperture and I'll let the camera decide on the aperture. The camera will uh, use probably a bit of a uh, nice hat. Thank you. So now it's going to be a bit more difficult because I'm shooting against the sun. And the thing I love about the uh, Fuji is um, I just have a wheel that helps me adjust and add a three-quarter of a stop or a stop without going it through into any menus. So I'm just going plus one now. Okay, I don't really like to walk against the sun. Uh, even though I'm at plus one, I, I just don't like it too much. Um, so I'm going to go in a side street. Nice glasses. Thank you. So entering into an area that tourists love to go to. Lots of really, really weird shops. Like this one. Some of the stuff I have n even no idea what it's for. Nice red and red here, but nothing too incredible. Oh, missed a nice beard here. Not fast enough. So you see, there is an interesting debate where people, you know, talk about street photography and uh, is it legal? Is it not legal? I've seen a hundred people taking uh, their phone out and taking pictures not of me but where I was on the picture for sure and sometimes probably a quarter of their frame so if there's a debate to really forbid pictures or taking pictures uh, it, it will also need to address um, you know telephones I like the hat all the way. No, nope. too late. Homeless living alone. Hey, the skateboarders from earlier took a picture of these two guys. And of course, it was when the video stopped working. Thank you, GoPro. Kids going shopping. Avoid taking pictures of kids as well. Just, you know, just don't want to get into a conversation with parents or anything. It's a sad world where you're guilty of everything uh, right away, it seems, or judged. So just don't take a chance, you know. Unless the parents are here and ask their permission, and uh, there's a good reason to do it. 
on video again. All the time, all the time. And that's okay. I don't mind, but in return, don't tell me I'm not allowed to take pictures in the streets. Nice dog. Interesting face. So what I do is I put my camera up. And I just shoot when I'm getting close to the people. He didn't want. It's okay. I'm trying to, uh, you know, take a picture and move on. Not spend much time chimping because every time I look down or don't look, uh, uh, that's what's happening in the street. It's a potential missed opportunity. Uh, sometimes you have just a half second to take a picture, and uh, so you know the fact that uh, the X Pro 3 has a hidden screen is really not a problem for me at all. Who's getting married? She is. And she doesn't want to be in pictures. <laughs> I clicked anyways. I'm a naughty boy. <laughs> for something that comes into my frame I see a big banter oh first police is stopping some uh, bikes but uh, I'm more interested into the pink pink lady here a lot of people are getting married and come to Amsterdam for their party Congratulations, may I? Thank you. <laughs> I'm not going to ask who's getting married. That would be a really stupid question, right? But congratulations. Thank you. Lots of tourists and bicycles, rental bikes. Sometimes it's hilarious to see how bad they are on the bicycle. And more. Tourists, tourists, tourists. Local. <laughs> Too easy, just too easy to take this picture, you know? Not doing it. At the same time, it's on the video, but okay. So, okay. Missed opportunity, fantastic tattoos. I have to ask her. Oh, no, don't go that way. I can't take pictures. Oh, never mind. Hi. Excuse me, I'm a street photographer here in Amsterdam, yes. and I couldn't help finding. Oh, it's good. No, I'm been in France a month, so I can not very good Netherlands speak. So I'll try. Can I make a photo of you? Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. yeah. find it is maybe not the first time, but mag mag yeah. Oh, I find it so prachtig. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Maybe maybe with the light, light. I don't know the light. Licht, lucht, oh, licht, ja. Zo? Ja, perfect. Oh, super mooi. Een beetje. Dank je wel. Super. Oké, okay, okay, dag. Dank je, meneer. Ja, oké, okay, hoor. Oké, okay. so. You don't ask, you don't get. I saw them passing by and I'm like, okay, I lost the opportunity. And it feels strange to follow people uh, into the streets, but uh, I did. I asked kindly. I realized they were Dutch. So I uh, tried a bit of my broken Dutch, but it worked. Beautiful people. Sometimes they ask for to get a picture, sometimes they don't. Uh, if they ask, I offer it. If they don't, well, 
I'll leave them alone. Sometimes they feel when I when I offer them the picture that that sometimes they think I'm going to ask for money or so. It gets complicated. So if they want the picture, they ask, they have it. So as you can see, it's quite different this time than my other two videos where I was shooting with a wide angle and um, when I would see something, I would just uh, shoot with the camera at my uh, at hip level. I wouldn't bring the camera up to my eye. I would bring it up maybe closer to the people, but not looking through uh, the OVF or EVF. Um, and this time with the 23, it's way more difficult to do that because, of course, the uh, angle is much, much less wide. Uh, what I can take in frame is much more narrow, so I have to look through the uh, OVF, uh, which is a different way of styling, different way of styling, maybe a different way of shooting, I mean. Um, it's less discreet, but uh, if I'm fast enough, I can still gather uh, the, you know, the emotion, what people give me without uh, freezing because they see there's a camera and so on, but I have to be quick. You know, the tattoo, nice, but yeah, nothing. Hello. <laughs> I need to, to take a picture of you with your hat. Is that okay? Okay, no problem. No is no. I like the hat. May I or not? Thank you. Yes, you can. <laughs> Super. Thank you. But you need to hashtag with Hey Mickey. Mi Mickey? Hey Mickey. Hey Mickey. Yeah, I'll remember I'm a it. Street entertainer. Oh, you are? Yes, I am. And I'm writing the book. This is the fourth city I'm homeless in. This is the second time to be homeless in Amsterdam. So you're, you're famous homeless? Somehow, yes. By and choice or no? We're never homeless by choice, are we? Maybe you can support my book with a little loot. I don't have cash anymore, but I can you buy you a burger if you want, but I don't have cash. Nobody has cash anymore. Uh, can you buy me anything else? Yeah, like, can, yeah what do you want? Uh, um, I'm not I mean, sure. something around here because I, I'm on my way to something. Uh, but yeah. It is Albertine here. You want, you want something from Albertine? No, I just ate in KFC a big bucket for free, of course. But you can buy me a, a three euro wine in Albert Hain over there. Where? I mean, I'm not going to go all the way to Albertine there. We're in front of a shop here. Okay, here you go. Let's see. Oh, this is not the shop. <laughs> Where is the Albertine? Uh, the Albertine is there. <laughs> okay. A juice or anything, you know? A yeah, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, you know? yeah, of course, it's okay. I don't mind. Just make sure the really. Hey, you said hey Mickey. I'm recording hey, it. So yeah, hey, hey, hey Mickey. Mickey. Okay. NYC. That's my handle on Instagram. I'll find you. <laughs> You're free to post that video, you know. I will. Maybe this one. Or Heineken. Yeah, go for it. We're good. There's no. Uh... Oh, you have to wait. You I can't think pay. Uh... Line here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Well, tell me about your book then. But you leave. You leave here. Yeah, this is the third day here. I came third here without day. any money, zero money. Yeah. And without cell phone in 2020, this is a big. I I spent 30 years, uh, 30 days in Budapest being homeless, second time also. But they robbed me for the newest highway phone. And this is the book's name, The King of the Game. King of the Game. 
And but but so again, I mean, you, you you seem to be. Is it a choice or not? I was asking you. If you never homeless by choice, but uh, at the same this time, is the, this is the fourth time, actually fourth city and sixth time being homeless. Usually lasts like thirty days. Then I find a job and. You so it's know. an experiment in a way. Um, streets sometimes call me back. You know, let's just call it that way. Yeah, yeah. So, are you? Are you? Would you consider? And I mean, no offense by that. Would you consider yourself a misfit? No, I'm actually a software developer with 30, 30 something years experience. But I've taken a different role over yeah, the years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And where are you from originally? Uh, Hungarian from Serbia. Oh, so there's this. 15 years in New York. Did you did you leave because of the of the civil war? No, or nothing? I left because I lost half a million euros, five retail stores, one wholesale, one truck, two vans, two pickup trucks, one BMW and one Megane. But how, how did you this, lose it? Uh, the, the treasurer's office came after me after eight years. Serbia, you know, it's more than it's not the mother. Serbia is more like a how you call not the mother you know but when the father marries the woman and oh uh, the the uh, not yeah the well, father in law mother in law fusting fusting yeah I'm not mother sure. you know so let's you turn over there here you go can we make it like this let's go crazy okay thank you yeah I give you one more story, then I leave. Yeah. Tell me. Uh, two years ago, just because you bought me these tricks, two years ago I was also homeless here, and I met a guy from Brooklyn. I told you I lived 15 years there. You said Berkeley? Brooklyn, New York. Uh, Brooklyn, sorry. Brooklyn, yeah, yeah. New York, yeah. okay. So I instantly recognized the accent, you know, that he got some roots to New York. And he didn't say anything till I saved him somehow from some Serbian brothers, okay? And then he starts showing me, you know, who he is, you know, the picture of his father, you know, all the same shit I've seen in New York. Then I call up New York, my brother from another mother, let's just say he's a member of the underground, one of the five families, Italian, American. And I says, like, listen, I met Salvatore, enough said, <laughs> and the full name, and he says, ah, from Brooklyn, yeah, he, he's, uh, someone was killed, you know, I intentionally cutting the story now because you're recording it. I am. And he told me the same thing that the guy was telling me, you know, and I only mentioned the name. So he told me what he's doing, and those two months, three months I was here, I maybe spent two months with him going to the coffee shops, and he was doing the same thing, like asking people for buy him. But that was not my intention right now, because I'm full of KFC. No, I'm the one that stopped you. You, you were not, you were on your way to your life, and I'm the one that stops you to okay. steal. It's not stealing if you ask, but to steal. <laughs> A picture from you. Well, I wish hey, you a fantastic Mickey. journey. Okay. Hey, Just Mickey. hashtag whatever you post. I you will do. Post. Promise. Just hashtag Hey Mickey. Hey fantastic. Mickey America. Okay. I much appreciate it. Thank Have a fantastic you. time. I love you. Be Thank safe. You. You're British, right? I'm French. Oh. Are you French? Yeah. I have never been blessed to have a French woman, fortunately. Oh, uh, it's not too late. Well, I'm giving my best. <laughs> Good luck with everything. Okay, thank you. Take good care. Take Be care. Safe. Bye. I love Amsterdam. I think, of course, it could happen anywhere else in the world, but. Uh, oh, super. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Love the earrings, may I? Oh, beautiful. Look at me. Thank you, she's gorgeous! Yeah. <laughs>
this is one thing is when uh, you walk around, I think it's sometimes important to look behind. You never know what's happening behind you. Uh, a couple of days ago, I missed a fantastic picture where there's a guy walking with a cross right behind me. And I only noticed him after he passed me and I just uh, lost him in the, in the crowd, so... Head down, but we shall see. Love the colors. Not sure they're Japanese, but uh, I really like the look. Green hat. Not sure it's yellow or it's green. So I prepare myself, bring the camera up. Well, I don't think it will be too interesting after all. I have to ask, I have to ask. May I? What? Take, Take a picture. Can I Whatever you want. But no, yours are beautiful. So I prefer without, yeah, may I, yeah? No, no, but I have to because of the lens, trust me. Where are you from? Beautiful, much appreciated, thank you.